Mark, let's start off more broadly. What's your take on the state of the economic recovery and what should we be watching out for in 2015? It's good. Uh, and I think we should be watching jobs. Uh, job growth is uh, strong. We've created over 3 million jobs over the past year and over the last three months, over a million jobs. And uh, that, that's key to everything. More jobs means more wages, more income, and ultimately more consumer spending and economic growth. So with that kind of job creation, I think we're, we're in good shape. All right, now oil prices have been low for months now, but we haven't been seeing consumers spend the savings at the pump, at least not to the extent that we would like them to. Why is this, and is this something we'll be seeing in the coming months? Yeah, they will start spending. It, it takes time. So you uh, need to see the savings from spending less on gasoline build up in your checking account over a period of time. It's not magically $1,000 appears in your checking account. It's over a period of time that these gasoline savings, savings built up. So it takes, it takes three, four, five, six months before I think consumers feel comfortable that they have enough uh, in their checking account that they'll spend it. But it's coming. I think this spring we'll see a lot more consumer spending. And you say if oil averages $63 per barrel in 2015, GDP will add a half a percentage point? Yeah, that's right. So uh, at $63 a barrel, we're at 50, so that would uh, suggest that we're going to see prices move a little higher. But let's say it just averages $63 a barrel. That means gasoline prices this year are going to be a dollar per gallon less than last year. That's a savings to American consumers of $120 billion. That's 1% of their disposable income. Uh, that's a lot of savings. And, uh, you know, just a fair share, just a reasonable share, historical share that gets spent, that means a lot of growth for the economy. All right, let's talk about the Federal Reserve, of course, gearing up to make their first rate hike in eight years now. In Janet Yellen's testimony on Capitol Hill last week, it seemed as though a 2015 rate hike was off the table, given her emphasis on inflation as being this key ingredient for triggering a rate hike. What's your take on that? Do you think the Fed will tighten this year? I do. Uh, you know, there's, I think, uh, more likely at the September uh, meeting, but I, I think at that point in time it will be clear that the economy, given all the job growth, will be closing in on full employment quickly, that wage growth at that point will be accelerating, proof positive that we are approaching full employment. And I think also at that point it will be clear that inflation is bottomed out and we'll start to see some pickup. So all the ingredients will be in place, I think, by September for, for the first rate hike. Even though we saw some deflation in the headline numbers just last week? Yeah, they're clearly not focused on that. They're, clo they're focused on the core inflation rate. That's the appropriate uh, inflation rate to look at because ultimately, the, uh, because of the stabilization in oil prices, we'll see the overall inflation rate begin to head back north. And, you know, I think if we just look forward a year or two, and that's what they're doing, they're looking uh, ahead a year or two, uh, they, they'll see a full employment economy, they'll see inflation moving back closer to target, and I think that at that point they'll conclude that, you know, zero interest rate is not appropriate. At this time, we need to raise rates. Mark, thanks so much for joining us. It was a pleasure. Thank you.